Hi guys, it's Steve at Golf Tech Systems. We are in the Amin and Demo Center video today that everyone's been asking for online comparison video with Pro TV X against another tracking device. Now we have been doing multi tests previous video. We've had numerous devices out for this, guys. Um, GC3, iMini, BX, Trackmans, IO, Trackman 4, etc. etc. Sadly, you do get interference. I know that there's people out there saying you shouldn't or you can't, and I've seen shots track. It will track, and it will occasionally give you a track shot, but we can see a lot of interference. So we're going to run this video. We know there's a bit of interference coming because we get a strobing effect, as you can see in the protein video from the I.O. But again, we're trying to do something and see if we can get some data to be seen. Also note that the tracking area for these two is right on a crossover point. Because of Unicorn being in the middle on the ceiling, they're spaced further apart, which means their tracking areas are just right on the line of each other, which again, is not optimal. You want to meet them tracking with the ball position in the middle of their tracking areas um, to get the best quality data from them. But we're going to give it a go. We've got PGA Pro, Ian Mitchell with us today. He's going to hit a couple of shots out. We're going to see if we can get this to track. And if we can, then we'll do a quick comparison video. So yeah, Ian, as soon as you're ready, let's see what we can do. Okay, that tracks me. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a track on both. So, first of all, let's just have a look at where they've ended up. So we can see that's obviously gone off left. We can see that's nicely off left. We're going to have a let's have a look at the club video. So club video, I'd say pretty good. Pretty similar, isn't it? Yeah, in terms of both what they're seeing, where they're coming in, which is good. So let's focus on the data. 164.3 carry or 166.5, so a couple of yards. Uh, we'll ignore total. Offline 16.7. Offline 16.5. Very good. Ball speed 112.3, 112.6. Good. Excellent. Can't argue. 17.3, they get 16.1. Little bit out. Ball spinning at 3.5, ball spinning at 3.7. Little bit out on that. Club base was 0.7 open. Uh, base we got 2.4, so a little bit out. We've got the other club data screen missing. We're a little bit out on the club data, but the video. In terms of what it's showing, it's pretty decent, isn't it? Yeah. It's not bad, actually. And where they've ended up is virtually bang on top of each other. Let's just jump to the range. Yeah, I think Very it's... similar shape, isn't it? Yeah, I think those... Yeah, exactly. So when we can get these to track, it's actually pretty good. Let me just go back to um, summary page. Here, we'll try one more. I know it's probably asking a lot to get another one to track instantly, but let's try it. Yeah, it's trying to get it in exactly in that place, isn't it? That we know that both kind of going to track. Yep. Interesting. Was it going IO? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yeah, same's ready. Although it's probably wrong on the limit again. No. And as I say, this is the problem, guys. It, because we have got them in such a crossover point. If we bring any of the other devices in, that IR is just going to interfere massively. But it's such a difficult thing to do where they're positioned. <coughs> yeah, that's, yeah. And it's left. <laughs> so, again, looking at the club videos, yeah, I mean, it looks good. Yeah. It looks really good. And launch direction, okay, so data 172 against 171. So, just over a yard difference. Offline 25, offline 30, not a million miles away. Ball speed 114.6, ball speed 117, so a couple of mile an hour difference there. Launching at 17.1, launching at nearly 16, spinning 3.3, spinning 3.6. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. I would say, in terms of what we're seeing, when we, you know, if we have both systems running independently and then in their own ball positions, you know, you get some really consistent data in terms of what you see off of both devices. Well, we can just about get both systems to track. Again, I don't like the fact that we're putting them right on their limit of their tracking area, but I think it's pretty steady in terms of what we've seen the data. Uh, yeah, that's a quick comparison, guys. If you need any more information, you can visit us at www.goldtechsystems.com.